Hello everyone! My name is Kiana Canada and I work with the YMCA Children's Development Department and today for our circle reading time we're going to read It's Sharing Day with Dora the Explorer. In this book Dora speaks in Spanish and in English so there may be some words that you may not understand. Don't worry, after each little section I'll stop and we will go over the words that were in Spanish and you can pronounce them with me and learn along. Let's get started. Hola! Today is sharing day. Boots and I are going to Abuela's house for a very special lunch. We are bringing food to share. Abuela is making empanadas. Boots is bringing bananas. For dessert, I am bringing rice and milk so we can make arroz con leche. Here, Dora says, hola. Can we all try and say hola together? Ready? Hola. Hola in Spanish means hello. Dora is going to her abuela's house. Can we all say abuela together? Abuela. Good job. Abuela means grandma. So she's going to her grandma's house. At her abuela's house, she's making empanadas. Empanadas are usually fried pastries or dessert. Let's see. And then we are making arroz con leche. Arroz con leche. Arroz is rice. Con means with and leche means milk. So this really means rice with milk. Arroz con leche. Let's say it one more time. Arroz con leche. Rice with milk. Before we go to Abuela's house, we have to get the milk and rice for our dessert. Will you help us? Great! Map says we know, need to go to Benny's barn to get the milk. Then we need to go to the rice fields to get some rice. Let's hurry so we can get to Abuela's house in time for lunch. Come on! Vamanos! Here, Dora says Abuela again. That means Grandma. And then here, she says Vamanos. Can we all say Vamanos together? Vamanos. Good job. Vamanos means let's go. Because she's saying let's go get our items to go to Grandma's house. Look, there's Benny in his go-kart. Hola, Benny. Boots and I were coming to see you. We need to borrow some milk from you. Will you give us a ride to the barn so we can borrow some milk? What a good friend. Benny said he'll share his go-kart with us and give us a nice ride to the barn. Hop on. Gracias, Benny. Here, Dora says hola again, which means hello, Benny. And then here, she says gracias, Benny, after he shares his cart. Gracias means thank you. Can we say gracias? Gracias. Good job. We made it to Benny's barn. Mira, there's Benny's grandma. Hola, we need to borrow some milk so we can make arroz con leche for our sharing day lunch. Will you share some milk with us? You will? Gracias. Since Benny and his grandma shared with us, let's invite them to our sharing day lunch. They said they would bring some cowboy cookies to share. Delicioso. So here, Dora says, mira. Can we all say, mira? It's like me, like me, and then ra, mira. Mira means look. So she's saying, oh, look, there's gra Benny's grandma or abuela. She says, hola, which means hello. And then she asks for leche or milk so that she can make her arroz con leche, which if we remember is rice with milk. And then after they give us milk, they're also coming with us to our sharing day lunch. And Benny is bringing cowboy cookies. He says, delicioso. Delicioso means delicious or yummy. It means those cookies are delicious. Let's say delicioso one more time. Delicioso. Where do we need to go now? We have to go to the rice fields to get some rice. We can take a shortcut through Issa's flowery garden. Vamanos, let's go. 
There are so many plants and flowers in Issa's flowery garden. Some of the flowers are so tall that we can't see around them. How will we know which way to go? Look at how tall. Some of those flowers are as tall as trees. And then here, Dora says, Vamanos. If we remember, Vamanos means let's go. I hear someone singing. Quien esta cantando? Who is singing? Si, sí, it's Isa. Isa is singing a special flower song for us. She's making the flowers move and dance. Now we can pass by them and follow the path. Gracias, Isa. Here, we have some harder words. Dora says, Quien esta cantando? Quien esta cantando? Quien means who. Esta means is. And cantando means singing. So Dora asks, who is singing? Quien esta cantando? Then the reply was, si, sí, it's Isa. Si sí in Spanish means yes. So just like you see with your eyes, if you were wanting to say yes to someone in Spanish, you would say si. Sí. And then she says, gracias to Isa, which again, gracias means thank you. Isa shared her flower song to help us find our way through her flowery garden. Since Isa shared something with us, let's invite her to our sharing day lunch too. Isa will bring fresh vegetable salad to share. Yum. Look at all those yummy vegetables. Do you see any vegetables that you recognize? Let's see, I see, I see a big red tomato. I see lots of carrots and lettuce. Looks like maybe a cucumber in the background. Some broccoli, ooh, does anybody like broccoli? And looks like peas. Uh-oh, it's almost lunchtime and we still need to get to the rice fields to get some rice for our dessert. How can we get there quickly? Hmm, do you see anything that we can use to get there quickly? Look, there's Tico in his plane. Let's ask Tico if he can help. Tico is going to share his plane and give us a ride to the rice fields. Gracias, Tico. Vamanos. So here we say, gracias, Tico. Vamanos. That means, thank you. Let's go. We made it to the rice fields. To get the rice, we have to shake the rice plants. Will you count the rice plants you see? Let's see. First, we'll count in English. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Now, let's count in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Let's go over it one more time to make sure we got it. In one, or in Spanish, one is uno, two, is dos, three is tres, four is cuatro, and five is cinco. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Five rice plants. Good job! Now we have enough rice to make arroz con leche for everyone. Now let's go to Abuela's house for lunch. Since Tico shared his plane with us, let's invite him to come along. He's bringing yummy nut bread to share. Muy bien. So here we have our arroz or rice and our leche so that we can, uh, milk, so that we can make our arroz con leche. And Tico is bringing some yummy bread. You can see the nuts in it. Oh. And then Dora at the end here says muy bien. Muy bien means very good. <gasps> Yay! We made it to Abuela's house. Now Abuela has the milk and rice for arroz con leche. She is making it right now. Mmm, it smells yummy. I can't wait to eat. We have our abuela or Dora's abuela, her grandma, and they're making their arroz con leche. So we have our arroz or rice that Boots is pouring in. And then Isa is handing 
Dora's abuela the leche, or the milk, so that they can make their rice with milk. Arroz con leche. Lunch time! Look at all of this delicious food we can share. We have empanadas, bananas, cowboy cookies, vegetable salad, nut bread, and arroz con leche for dessert. Vamos a, com a comer. Let's go eat. So, we have our arroz con leche right here that everybody made. And then Dora says, vamos a comer. Let's say it again. Vamos a comer. That means, let's go eat. Vamos a comer. Let's go eat. What a great day sharing. Benny shared his go-kart. Isa shared her song. Tico shared his plane. And everyone brought food to share for lunch. What did you share today? What a great book. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Today, we learned about sharing. Dora and all of her friends each shared something. Benny shared his go-kart. Isa shared her song. Tico shared his plane. And Dora and Boots shared their lunch with everybody else. What did you do today to share? Maybe you shared a toy with one of your siblings, your brother, your sister, or maybe a close friend. Maybe your mom and dad shared something with you. Today, I made this video to share with all of you. We'd love to hear what you guys are doing to share with each other at home. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and that you enjoyed our reading time. Bye-bye.